Who doesn't want faster render times? You do, that's why you're here. And I'm gonna show you how you can export from Premiere Pro 10 times faster than you currently do. That's right, almost 10 times as fast. Let's do this. Hey, I'm Andy Evanson here for Digi Pro Tips, and I'm gonna show you how you can export from Premiere much, much, much faster than you currently do. And it's called Smart Rendering. What do I mean by smart rendering? Well, it's kind of what it says on the tin. It is a smarter way to render. Saves you time, is more efficient on your workflow, and ends up exporting much quicker. So how do we do it? Okay, well, normally your sequence settings are probably set to something like IMPEG, um, custom 1920 by 1080, or you've gone for one of the presets in there, Whatever you are using, it is probably not optimized for export using previews. And that's the key. We need to make sure that that little checkbox on export to use previews works in our favor. Okay, let me break it down a little bit further. So, if we are editing in a timeline that uses ProRes, and DNX HD, and a multitude of codecs that are in a MOV wrapper or an MXF wrapper. There are a few others, and you can check Adobe's website as to what it does cater for, but those are the main two. I mean, you're usually gonna be editing in ProRes or you know, DNX HD. If you're editing in MP4, this isn't gonna work for you. If you are editing in ProRes or DNX HD, then you need to go to your timeline settings right now and go to your preview settings. Here you want to click the drop down box and choose QuickTime or MXF. Why? Because you're going to render your previews in the output format that you actually want them in. That means when it comes to exporting your timeline, it's already in the right codec and wrapper. I'm just going to choose QuickTime and I'm going to choose ProRes 422, reset my aspect ratio and hit OK. Now, it's gonna ask me to delete my previous previews, and that's fine, because we don't need them. We're gonna be creating a whole new load of previews. So, how do I take advantage of this now? Well, it's kind of the same as you used to do. Say you're going for a coffee, you're going out for lunch, or you just need a break from your edit, and you hit that render button to make sure that when you come back, you can play it back smoothly. Well, do that. Just do that, because whilst you are doing that, it is rendering a preview that it can then use in the final export. It doesn't need to render that whole sequence again. It can just use that section. So when it comes to the final export of your sequence, then you can hit that little checkbox that says use previews and hit export and it will fire through. It will absolutely blast it. It, it can be, and I say it can be, it's not always gonna be, but it can be up to 10 times as fast. That's incredible. So there we have it. That is smart rendering in Premiere Pro. It's so easy, right? And I bet you're dying to try it out. So go on then, off you go. Go try it. Wait, 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 wait. There is one thing I forgot. If you like that video, then give us a subscribe, hit the like button, write a comment, and help us to help you. And I'll see you next time.